Bennington is preparing for its first ever full-scale theater production. Cast and crew members have been working for months, getting ready. Reporting on the milestone, 3 News Now reporter Jill Lampkins. In Bennington, there's opportunities for kids to play an instrument, dance, sing, or participate in their school's theater productions. Now, performers of all ages can do so in the new Bennington Community Theater. It's an organization that kickstarted in January when local theater lovers Donna Dalston and Blake Thompson had an idea. But to make it happen, they needed help getting a grant from the Bennington Community Foundation. Who gave us a $2,000 grant for startup costs, which helped us promote this show. And then we um, sought out board members and we sought out seven board members that helped design a season. A season filled with opportunities for everyone. There's a lot of excitement with kids and the youth programs we're going to try to build and there's a lot of excitement with the adults too. We, we did an open mic night a couple weeks ago and it was well attended. Got to see a lot of great talent so it's pretty exciting to see it grow. Their first production, Pump Boys and the Dinettes, including five on stage performers and three crew members. We rehearsed uh, three to four nights a week to start um, and we rehearsed at Ridgewood Senior Living. The community theater doesn't yet have a permanent home, but the show must go on and one board member says she's proud of how far they've already come. Oh, it just means a lot as this community is growing. The more that we can bring to it, the, the better. It's just a really exciting, exciting time for Bennington. Performances for their first show will take place on Sunday at 2.30 and 6.30 p.m. at Nate's Stumble Inn in the Offs Ballroom upstairs. In Bennington, Jill Lampkins, 3 News Now. And to encourage people to come, admission is free, but donations are welcome at the door.